You know, the last month has been an exhilarating and a very busy time for me as I've tried to reach out and visit with almost every one of you, with the some exception of some old friends that I think knew where I was coming from. I can report back to you after this great month that you are a very interesting and diverse group of people. And we all share a real commitment to what we're doing. I mean, you're here because you care. And I'll tell you, if the rest of this building is full of people like you, and if the nation is like that, it bodes very well for us in, in November. So I thank you and I, and for the last month, and I just can't tell you how much we've learned and how many good friends we've made. I've talked to you about issues, and I think you know by now that I feel very strongly about energy, developing energy, all our sources of energy, particularly in our area. But not just, but as a local issue and also a national security issue where I spent an entire career working. We have to develop all our forms of energy. I think you know that I, by now that I feel very strongly about rural Colorado, small towns, ranches, and farms being the very heritage, the very soul of America. And I think you know that I'll fight to preserve that, including the water that it takes to preserve our heritage in Colorado. It's one of our biggest issues. I think you know by now that I feel very strongly about education, particularly K-12 education. We must support our current educational system. We must help our teachers. But at the same time, we can do radical improvement of our education system and serve our parents and our kids and our nation better. And I think you know by now that I'm a businessman. And I've started a number of small businesses and worked in large businesses. And I believe that we need to cut red tape and regulation. So those are my issues. Well, let me just take what short time I have remaining and, and refresh your thinking, because I've told you all this before, I think, about what I'm offering as your state legislator. I'd say there are three points. First is a strong conservative base. Two is a unique resume. And the third is the ability and the capacity to really work hard for you. From a conservative point of view, you know, I think of myself as not just a cable news conservative, but you know, I've spent the last years studying our Constitution and not just the history of America, but the philosophy behind it. You know, the John Locke, Charles Montesquieu, the things that led up through the 1600s to the concept of unalienable God-given rights and, 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 and the concept of a government whose primary responsibility is to protect those rights. And that means, that means that when I go down, when I'm here in Denver, not when I go down here, when I'm here in Denver, you know, I'm going to vote two ways. I'm going to vote those principles and those values, and I'm going to vote to represent you. And I'm not going to vote to go along with the party line or whatever it takes. I've told you that I have a unique background. You know, I, I was rural upbringing. I'm an electrical engineer by education. I was a captain in the Army. I've been a systems engineer. I've been a project manager of large complex defense systems. I've been a vice president and president of corporations, including the Ford Motor Company. And after coming, I've been in Colorado for 30 years and all that time, and I've started four small businesses in, in the Roaring Fork Valley, all of which still survive. So I can cross that spectrum from small to large. That means, that means for you that I know how to lead large organizations, I know how to build coalitions for complex issues and, and cross the boundaries that we have to cross to get things done. And lastly, you know, I, I have the capacity and the desire to work really hard for you. And I think we've demonstrated that. And, you know, we've run for office before and demonstrated it. That means, that means that I'll be there with you. You know, I, I, you know we're, we're not going to Rangeley and Meeker because we want to win. We're trying to win so that we can go back to Craig and Rangeley and Meeker and Rifle and Glenwood and get to know all of you and work with you and handle your issues. So if we work together, this diverse, wonderful group of people that I'm getting to know better and better, you know, if we work together, we can actually make a difference. You know, that's where I'm coming from. I don't want to yell at the television anymore. I want to get out there and make a difference and do something for my country. And it's so I'm so enthused by all of you who are there with me. Thank you.